Hello, I'm Andrew Palmer, K manager for the East. Today we're on the Suffolk coast on Mark and Paul Haywood's farm to look at the strip grazing trial. So the whole idea with the strip grazing really, very straightforward. If you were moving on the site for the first time, you would, uh, you would grass the whole site, you would then split down into the strips, you would run your sows on the strips while the other grass was really well established. Probably running into winter, you would flip onto the grass. You would then regrass um, where you just flipped off, which you'd be looking at, say, October time. Then that would give you a chance to re-establish that grass to flip again after winter. You want an equal strip so that when you flip, you don't use extra wire. Everything's the same size. So you literally flip one side of the paddock over. You're farming in a traditional way in the sense that you're moving on to land for, let's say, three years. But actually what you're doing is you're moving your sows every six months. You can see that the corner posts, we're using tyres um, as opposed to putting posts into the ground. That allows us to flip more easily when we're going to pull posts out of the ground. We're now entering the fourth year we've done it. Obviously you've got the benefits of moving sows onto grass. Is your probably your biggest benefit is the production lift, possibly, possibly a little less disease. You've got the morale boost to staff. You've got a unit that looks much more tidy because you're able to uh, regrass, cultivate, so the unit looks nice and we have a lot of visitors so it's important that our unit looks good as much as possible. So the grass gives it um, a great aspect. It obviously stops wind erosion of the soil. So particularly a site like this where it's very, very sandy, the grass will help, um, will help enormously with that. And you've obviously got the ability for the land to drain better or get rid of water if you've got grass down. It's an interesting way of looking at outdoor pig production. So we've obviously involved AHDB in the sense of um, getting involved and looking at what we're doing. What we'd like to do is to look, uh, in the future we'd like to look at, does this system deal with nitrates better? Does it deal with soil erosion better? So I think we're just challenging the traditional model of outdoor pig keeping. From our perspective, you know, we're quite happy to share our knowledge with the industry. We're now in May, what you see behind us, we started flipping around the beginning of February. We're actually moving off this site in September. So what we've done with the strips behind us now, instead of planting grass, They've been planted with insect and bird mix, so we've planted vetch, phacelia. So what we'll have between the end of May and October when we move, we will have large strips supporting a large amount of bees, insects, butterflies. And the idea behind that is really, you know, us wanting to farm with nature and, it, and in respect of our business, we want to show that, you know, what we're running is a sustainable business here. For further information on the strip grazing trial, contact your K manager or for more details, look at our website. <laughs>